Are you thinking about starting your own business or running your own company and you want to know if you got what it takes? Well, here are 10 signs that you are meant to be a CEO. If you like this video or you like this content, make sure you subscribe to the David Wong Entrepreneur Show on this channel. Comment, like, and tell your friends. With that said, let's get on with the show. Number 10 on the list is coaching and challenging people efficiently. You have to be a good coach. You have to be someone who can bring the most out of people and see people's potential, what they do and their skills, find out what they're good at and bring that potential out and draw it out of them. You have to be able to motivate and challenge people efficiently so that they don't get burned out or they don't get discouraged. They can keep helping build your company. Number nine sign that you're gonna be a successful CEO is that you're willing to take critical feedback. You're not offended or you're not discouraged. If you get critical feedback, actually you welcome it because it's gonna help you improve and you're gonna take that feedback, turn it into something that's gonna make you better make you a better person, make you more effective, and make you more successful. Number eight is that you're extremely driven. Every day you wake up early and you work, and you work for 12 hours a day, maybe even 16 hours a day. You're willing to do what it takes. You're willing to put in the hours and the efforts to do the things that you are not comfortable doing, stepping outside of your comfort zone, but you're willing to do it because you're driven and you have a goal and you're going to get to the goal. Number seven is you have deep understanding of the market trends. You are a expert of the market. You know what makes it tick. You know who are the leaders. You know how to make yourself different than the market. You know where you position yourself in the market. Are you gonna be the company that's gonna have the best product or the best service or the best relationship with your customers? You have to decide where you are gonna fit in the marketplace. And if you can understand the market, that's gonna put you ahead of other people. What's one key quality that every CEO has? It's actually intuition. So if you have intuition, do you think you'll become a better CEO? Intuition can be actually be trained, and the way to train it is through meditation. Imagine if there was a technology that would help you meditate automatically, and help you to increase and enhance your intuition to higher levels of the top CEOs of the world. So I want to invite you personally to my free event. It's called Chi Life Mastery. And you're going to learn about how I was able to enhance my own intuition through meditation and through technology and through Qigong practices to help me increase my personal power, my productivity, and my effectiveness as a CEO of my own company. So I'll see you there at chilifemastery.com. Sign number six is that you're great at asking questions. What does that mean? It means that you ask questions to other people and you also ask questions to yourself. Whenever you encounter a problem, instead of just coming up with an idea and making statements, you ask questions. And what do questions do? Questions basically trigger your mind and program your mind to find a solution. And it opens up your mind to think creatively, just in the same way that you ask questions to other people. What that does is now helps them to think creatively as well. So learn to ask effective questions that help you determine how to run your business better. For example, what's working? What's not working? How do you do things differently? What are some specific things that you can do to overcome challenges, fill in the gaps, or to create better product services for your customers? Number five on the list is that you speak different languages. Now, I don't mean you can speak different languages like Chinese, Mandarin, Portuguese, French. I mean you speak different languages to different people. Some people speak a language of emotion. Some people speak the language of logic. Some people are more creative. Some people are more analytical. So you need to learn how to speak, to communicate to your team or to other people in the way that they can understand you so that you can get your vision across to them so that you can be a very good communicator. Sign number four is to know your strengths and know your weaknesses. So you wanna know what your strengths are. What are you good at? What are you naturally good at? What's easy for you to do? What do you do effortlessly without even thinking and people are amazed at how you can do it? Those are your strengths and you need to focus on those strengths so that they become even more powerful strengths. Also, knowing your weaknesses is good too because you wanna know what you don't like to do, what drains your energy, what you are not good at, and what you're not effective in. Because then you can spend less time doing those things and if you're smart, you would delegate them to someone who's good at those things. You have very strong empathy for your consumer or for your customer and even for your team members. So you're able to 
get into their shoes and to really know what it's like to be them. So that you feel what they feel, you know what they need, you know what their life is like, you know what their solution is gonna be. So once you can understand that, that you can really create and craft your product or your service to really fit the needs and then solve the problems of the consumer. Because you are empathetic and you are like living in their shoes. Number two is that you're very good at building or clarifying your vision and your strategy. You're the person who decides the future of your company. What is your strategy? What's your overall game plan for the company? What do you envision in your mind that your company is gonna be at in the next year, two years, five years, or even 10 years? So having a strong vision and strategy for company is what you need and it's a good sign that you're gonna be a very strong CEO. Here's the final sign that you're meant to be a CEO. This final sign is that you care for your people. If you wanna be a leader, one important part is that you have a heart that cares for people. What problems they're going through and you really want to help them in their life or help them become more successful in their job. In Sun Tzu's Art of War, he says there's two kinds of leaders. The leaders that rule by fear and the leaders that rule by love and care. Which kind of CEO do you want to be remembered for? Someone who cared or someone who is just feared? I hope it's the CEO that cared for other people. So I'm David Wong. I hope you enjoy this show. If you like this show, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like and comment and tell your friends. So until next time, use the chi and prosper.